Let's talk now to uh, Rose Stevenson, Director of Policy at the Higher Education Policy Institute. Rose, good to see you. Welcome to the programme. Well, I mean, who'd come to study in the UK? First of all, of those pandemic lockdowns where you're unable to go home despite shelling out a fortune for uh, courses. Few in-person lectures, now these strikes. I mean, you really would have to be a mug to pay for this as a foreign student, wouldn't you? I think these students have had a, re a really tough ride with uh, COVID uh, and strikes um, and uh, the cost of living crisis here as well. Uh, so I certainly have a, a huge amount of sympathy uh, with those students for the experiences they've had. Should they have a refund, do you think? So students can apply to their university uh, to um, uh, raise a complaint about the service that they've had or about the experience they've had, especially if they feel it was different to what was advertised to them. Uh, and universities are required to run that complaints process. And there's an ombudsman that they can go to following that complaints process as well. For students chewing over uh, where to study their degrees next year, uh, I wonder if those prospective students must be thinking, well, I might as well go somewhere other than the UK to study. Uh, where I'm assured of the lecturers turning up in person or actually just stay at home and learn online because it's cheaper? So obviously the UK still offers uh, an amazing world-class higher education uh, for students that do come here and I think it's quite important to note that the number of students affected by the marking and assessment boycott has been quite small. Um, we don't uh, understand exact figures yet, but we think it's around 2% of students. Um, so I'd say to students who are thinking about coming here um, to speak to their institution directly uh, and find out if their course was affected by the marking and assessment boycott, because it's often course related rather than institution related. Uh, and also to ask their institution um, what mitigations they're putting in place uh, around the strike action. What does this industrial action do for the image of the UK as a leading destination, as you would describe it, for international students? I think it is, uh, it is a real challenge. Um, uh, but like I said, as most students that come here have an amazing experience, particularly as international students. I think that's a really special experience. Um, and I think we've seen from students, actually, uh, at quite a high level of support for lecturers, despite uh, kind of all the challenges they've had uh, during their um, education and, and the amazing resilience that those students have shown in, in really tricky circumstances. Um, but I would say the best way to re respect uh, the support that they've shown their lecturers um, and the resilience that they've shown is to, to get to, to an end point in this very, very long drawn out strike process. And what about that? I mean, what hope for a resolution in this, uh, in this industrial action? Uh, well, I certainly hope that there will be a, a resolution very soon. I'd, I'd hate for this to be repeated uh, for students uh, again next year. So um, all I can do is really encourage uh, the unions and the Employers Association to get back around that table uh, and show that respect to these, these amazing students and, and reach a settlement. Rose, good to talk to you. Thanks for coming on the programme. Rose Stevenson, Director of Policy at the Higher Education Policy Institute.